Ladies and gentlemen, you see, uh, recently there's a video that is trending, especially on uh, Twitter, where Pastor Aaron came out to confirm that uh, it is getting obvious that Nigeria problem is a spiritual problem. But before I say anything, let me play the video. By the way, this is the second time I'm posting this because I feel I can be more articulate with my thoughts. When one famous man of God came out to say that Nigeria has a spiritual problem, I understand why some of you took offense with it. Because it seems like the church is always spiritualizing the problems of this nation. And maybe what we need right now is to demand that the leaders of this nation take pragmatic steps towards the betterment of the nation as a whole. But when you look at it from another standpoint, it's hard to convince me that the, this country does not have a spiritual problem. Because somehow, we always miss the point. We always miss the point. And I'm only saying this because it has to be said. I miss when I wasn't that notable a man of God that I could just speak my mind, you know. But it has to be said. Compare and contrast. There are mega churches in this country. Yes, you are fuming over the fact that they have massive auditoriums. As far as you are concerned, they are supposed to be building factories. Building roads for the people. That's weird, but I'll come to that. So you have churches like, I don't want to mention him, but there's a church, for instance, that has two world-class universities. All right. And recently has announced that they'll be building an airstrip. And everybody is fuming about that. But in comparison, you have states that receive federal government allocation, that have citizens that pay compulsory taxes. And in those states, you don't have one working airport. You don't have any world-class university. And you think the church is your problem. If that's not a spiritual problem, I, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. Because if at all, if anything, I think that the church should be an inspiration to the government. And that's, a, that's, that's just testament to what effective resource management and leadership can accomplish. No matter how rich you think one ministry is, do you want to compare it to a whole nation or a whole state for, plus federal government allocation and the taxes that the, the citizens are paying? Why can't many states produce one good university? Why can't many states produce one airport? And so, whilst you are distracted by the prosperity of the church, it should help you think, well, how much more the government? And why hold a ministry to whom you, you don't pay taxes? A ministry that most of you don't even attend, you've never given offering. You're trying to tell them about what their financial priorities should be without holding the government to whom you pay taxes accountable. It, it, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. And... Coupled with the fact that some of these mega churches are even doing things that you can argue are not their business. Some of them are building roads. One of the churches in question built roads and would have done more, allegedly, if they were allowed to. I think we, we get too distracted in this nation. See, all those other issues about tithing, uh, those are theological issues that, I mean, honestly, some of us will never agree on. And that's okay. But at least from a big picture standpoint, from a national secular standpoint, no matter what you, you think um, a missionary university should charge for school fees, at the end of the day, it still benefits the nation that we have additional universities and world-class universities at that. Some states have not been able to do that. The church is not your problem. Think about it. Oh. Think about it. Don't get distracted. God bless you. Just my two cents. You see, that's the video of Pastor Aaron saying that it is getting obvious that Nigeria problem is spiritual because you could see that Nigeria, almost every state in Nigeria is not moving towards development the way it ought to be and even cited an example of how a church can be able to build world-class universities build uh, uh, building uh, um, what they call it re uh, I mean airline uh, way in their church premises and all of those things and the public or the masses are complaining about that saying why should it be so the church is the problem pastors are taking money from members and whatnot you know it is very popular in our dealings these days but you see recently i began to take some analysis and it is now obvious that nigeria problem is actually spiritual and 
the spiritual aspect of Nigeria is something that we have to look into as a people and we should start praying and asking God to have mercy on us as a nation and cleanse our land. I know a lot of people who are very religious or people who are Bible scholars, as it were, would argue this. But you see, I was meditating and it began to occur to me in my spirit that we are living in a country where injustice, lawlessness has prevailed over the years. There are a lot of people who have lost their lives, lost their loved ones, lost something valuable to them as a result of injustice in the land. We can use the case of Mobad as a case study and so many other persons. And funny enough, this is not even something that has to do with this generation. As I was meditating, it occurs to my spirit that even since the very beginning of our nation, when they started doing coup, political coup, that led to the civil war and all of that, people who were affected in those things, they are still crying for justice. Look at nations around the world today that is wallowing in injustice, just like Nigeria is. There is no good progress there. Even the one that has something that looks like progress or prosperity, there is unrest using Israel as a case study. There is unrest over the decades you have heard Israel in one or two challenge. Either they are fighting somebody or somebody is fighting them. That is not the best way to live life. Injustice. It's one of the problems Nigeria is facing that has better this uh, problem of Nigeria being spiritual. Because people whose souls, whose blood are crying for justice, they are crying day and night for that justice. And as a result of that, it is dragging the nation down. But nobody wants to talk about this conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, I urge every religious leader to, you know, they do Nigeria independence or something, prayer, wanting, wanting. Let the nation come together and ask the Lord for mercy. Then from there, we will begin to see the narrative begins to change. So many people will come to this platform now, this page now, to come and comment what they know and what they don't know. But you see, think about it, pray about it, meditate about it. Then you will be inspired to understand what I'm trying to talk about. Or probably maybe I lack the word to bring this message forth. But this video is more or less a prophecy for the nation. Let Nigeria come to pray, not to pray for a good leadership, no, but to ask for mercy of God. God has to cleanse Nigeria from evil, injustice. Injustice by sending people who are innocent to Kirikiri and allowing people who are guilty to walk free. Injustice. Injustice. Juggle justice of people who are unsuspecting. There is a lot going on in the realm of the spirit. Whether you like it or not, you will say it's leadership failure. No, it is the spiritual that controls the physical. Peace and love.